Hello and welcome to part two of this three-part series on cleaning the raw water system in the Volvo TMD 22 marine diesel engine. In part one I looked at how the raw water system worked and dismantled and cleaned the muffler, the elbow, the turbo. Uh, I changed the gasket on the water pump and found some nasties in the heat exchanger end cap and pipes. In this video, part two, I'll be dismantling and cleaning the oil cooler. So first off, I needed to clean the end cap and the drain plug with various pokey sticks and aquifurter. Then I moved on to cleaning out the fresh water coolant system. I discovered there was a drain plug connected to the heat exchanger, which I missed because there was a pipe already attached to it. So I've taken the end of the heat exchanger here, um, but to actually get it out, I'm gonna pull it out by here, but it's just, it's just not having it. It's just not coming out. I think there's been some sort of liquid gasket put in there, which has really stuck it fast. So I'm gonna to have to come at it from the other end. Unfortunately, there's a oil cooler on this end and I can't get the oil cooler out because the thermostat housing is in the way. So I've got to take the thermostat housing off to get to the bolts for the oil cooler so I can get the back of the heat exchanger to push it out that way. So it's, it's really stiff, so I've had to put an extension on this Allen key. The Allen key is the only thing that gets in. I can't get a, a ratchet spanner in there at all. So before I take the oil cooler off, I've got to disconnect these two pipes here, which is the oil feed and the oil drain from the oil cooler. So I'm just undoing these oil pipes. I actually had to um, tighten some of the Allen head bolts up on here because it was moving around too much, just so I can get these off. But I've left that one loose anyway. I thought all the oil would have drained down into the sump by now because it's been a, a week or two since we've got the engine on, but obviously not. I needed to do an oil change anyway. Yeah, that was a bit of a mess. I suppose I would expect the same from this side as well. I managed to get an adjustable spanner in there, just enough to hold it off. So got this pipe in the way as well. So the nuts come off, but the pipe's still in place. There was way more oil came out there than I expected. I expected a few drips, but about a quarter of a litre maybe came out. Stupid really. I mean, I thought it would all drain down into the sump after a few weeks, but uh, obviously not. Uh, but that wasn't mentioned in the manual anyway. So I'll take off the oil cooler now and I'll leave it to drip in a tray. So before removing the oil cooler I also had to remove the pipes leading to and from the anti-siphon bend. And there it is. See what the other side's like. Okay, so I've got the oil cooler off now, and it's not too bad. I mean, it's, there are some tubes blocked, so sort of calcium deposits and even bits of rubber. Looks like a bit of an impeller blade there. So uh, I'm going to take off both sides and give it a, a poke through, clean it up, and then put it back together. And this probably hasn't been off for about over 20 years. So 
quite a build up there. There's about 10% of these blocked, so I'm going to give it a wash out with Aquaferta um, from both ends and give it a poke through and clear up all of the ones that are blocked. In the uh, absence of safety goggles, I've got some fancy sunglasses. So it gets to work on it straight away, all the calcium deposits. So this is Aquaferta, it's about 20% it's about hydrochloric acid, I think. It's a Spanish brand. Well, basically, it's just brick cleaner. Get it any DIY shop, and that bottle just cost one euro. Found these pipe cleaners in the local Chinese shop in the kids' craft section. So uh, I'm just giving each pipe a good uh, clean out. Because there's still tiny, tiny bits of grit in there that are uh, too small for the wire to get to. And now they're all absolutely clear. These are all the bits and pieces that came off it. It's, uh, it's mainly little bits of stone, bits of weed, and there's even a bit of a impeller blade there as well. So this is the end cap now, so I'm just going to gently scrape away that calcium deposit and then clear it up with some more aquaferta. So it's come up nice and clean. So let's give it a bit of it. Clean up now. So next job was to change the O-rings, which meant removing the insert from the oil cooler housing. So the seals don't look too bad. I mean, there is a little bit of melting going on there. And there's some flattened surfaces. It's basically where the rubber's melted onto the under the cooler. So I'm going to give that a clean off and then replace those with new seals. I mean the ones from Volvo are quite expensive for 15 euros for one little oil seal. Now I'm sure you can get them cheaper somewhere else but I didn't want to risk it seeing as this is kind of a, a once in a two year service really. I just need to get this gasket off because it's uh, this washer thing. Been a bit misshapen, it's been over tightened at some point, so we'll replace that as well. So, I ordered these off uh, Voltec in the UK. So, there's the oil seals, and there's the uh, gasket or the washer that goes on the, um, on the inlet. I'm just going to use a bit of um, Vaseline, a bit of petroleum jelly, just to stick them in place while I do it and just to make sure those seals are nice and tight. There's a little, <clears throat> the telltale at the bottom of that gasket, which I'd be confused when I took it off.
this is where it pays to take pictures or video of stuff when you're doing it because I put it all back together as per the schematic diagram and the schematic diagram is wrong so I put it all back together back to front I'll give it a good clean up with some degreaser and a, and a wire brush and I think as soon as it's off I might give it a respray as well and also I've got the thermostat housing there and the end of the heat exchanger so as soon as I've got all the parts off um, I'm going to give them a spray down with uh, some Volvo green paint So that's it for part two. In part three, I'll be removing the heat exchanger or intercooler insert and giving it a good clean. And then hopefully putting everything back together again. So thanks in particular to our patrons for supporting us through these crazy times. I do like the occasional beer, as I've mentioned before. So if you do want to become a patron, click on the link below in the description and become a patron for no more than the price of beer a month.